さあ行きますよどうしようかな。Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. So the San Francisco Giants come into Game Four of this series with a chance to sweep. That's something that's not easy to do at this level against any opponent, Chris. Well, you know these players are feeling really good showing up to the ballpark today. Warm-ups, batting practice, everyone smiling, bouncing around, and they don't want to change anything that's helped get them the wins in the first three games. A big opportunity today, and they'll try to keep those positive vibes going. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So, the young fan. To get underway, and our starting pitcher here Let's today, roll. Joe Musgrove. Oh, a very Musgrove. solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. Yes, 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 yes. Yo. One out, base is empty. And a cup. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. めっちゃいいとこ決まってしまった。うわ、外にずれる棒しかないんか。お。Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. Mm. Just a good job putting the ball in play and then busting down the first baseline, beat the throw pretty easily. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed ah, himself to stay back uh. just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. That's high, <laughs> One down, and now it's Wilmer Flores with six hits in the series coming into this one. That's inside, ball one. Roar. And here it comes. There goes the runner. Low throw and he can't take it out. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Good steal a second right there, and now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. Slater, the runner at second with one away.
That one finds the zone. And a count one and two. じゃ観客。Swings throw it in. That's a strikeout. The cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say fool them with just enough of that late action. Shot. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Four for 13 in the series entering this one. That one fouled okay. off. Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. And the pitch. Yes. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. And now the Friars will get their first chance, no score. Back here at Oracle Park, today's starting pitcher, Sean Jelly. What do we have on him? Well, this guy's so elusive. Last year, took the loss in one game. You talk about a walking rabbit's foot just unreal that the odds and the numbers could bear out that way no matter how good you are but that's the kind of season he had last year and i'm sure they're hoping that they can build off of that momentum when he's on the mound xander bogarts in the box now no balls and a strike hey, we'll knock you on. Bogart swings through that one. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Ah, she aged it. The line to kick the pitch. And one and two. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Change up. And the one two misses to even the count. Slider. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Ah, young dog. Driving that pitch the other way on a line. Right on. They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there, it did, and he did it perfectly. Ha Sun Kim, the next up for the Padres, still hitless in the series. That one not close. Ball one. Oh, she. で最後チェンジアップ混ぜて最後。At the belt and fires, and a foul ball. Kitana, a party. The four seam, and that one sliced foul. Change up. Hey, no change up. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And one gone. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Manny Machado up to the plate. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. The curve was just a little bit. Righty delivers, and that one is lifted in the air. Soler calls it in, and there's two away. A 
let's take a look at the Padres lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. Now a screamer into the outfield. Yastrzemski snags it on the run. One left for San Diego. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Here's the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Four for 12 in the series so far. That's ripped. Base hit. Yastrzemski, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not what trying to do too much, but still you. looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And here is Matt Chapman. Three hits and 12 trips so far in the series. Close nope. one, doesn't mm. get the call. And that's ball one. Really? Wade leads off second with nobody out. That clips the corner. Eric Summerskill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. Man, it's second. This one in the air right field. Magica. And that's a fair ball. The run comes in from second. It's 2 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So here's Murphy now. In the dirt. Throw is low and he can't pick it. And now a man into scoring position. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. In there at the knees. It's a ball and two strikes. No outs. Runner on second. On the ground. Bogarts handles the chance. Tosses the first. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. And he can't come up with it. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. So important to really lock in on an at bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. Back to the top of the lineup. Tyro Estrada to the plate. He's 0 for 1. 
And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases empty. Ball and that's inside. off the inside okay. edge. And the count even one and one. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Ouch! Wow. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. I think he's getting hit whether he tries to get out of the way or not. That just seemed to be tracking him out of the pitcher's hand. And at first, Austin Slater stands in. This one in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Two outs. Next yeah. pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. And he deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That's out to center field. Azokar pulls it down, and that is that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants three, and the Padres nothing. Back here in San Francisco, bottom of the second. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Jelly back to work. Swings through that one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. There's a high chopper. Slings to first and a quick out number one. That exists. The first baseman. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. First offering and it just misses. The Padres trailing by three here Change in the up. finale of this four-game set. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. One and one. Swings and misses. And a count one, one and two. Got him swinging. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Now batting Jerickson Profar. This one popped up. Ahmed under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail it here, three-nothing. And we're back, top half of the third inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores. The right-hander back to work. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. That one ripped. What? Back there. Oh. And gone. He hammers one out to center. His second homer of this series, it's 4 nothing. Yup. Hikume. 
When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that ball. you move the ball around, work quickly, and ball. make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Next to hit, Jorge Soler. Went down looking on ball. three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Fought off foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a pitch. Late on that fastball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Here's the 0-2. Way oh. high. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that play starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And he makes the catch. Two away down. The bat. The hitter. Two outs, base is empty. So here's Wade now. He doubled home a run at his first A.B. Wade starting as the designated hitter. Batting sixth in today's lineup. And he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2015. And first offering is fouled off. I up down there. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. That misses, and that's ball one. Lifted in the air down the left side. Kim moving under it. And that'll do it. Giants add on one more. Bye-bye, baby. The solo home run. It's now a 4 nothing bye, ball game. Bye, baby. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the DH to Capita Marcano. Here comes a pitch. Into center on his way over. Tracks it down for the out. One away. Batting nine. The center fielder. Jose. Jose Azucar. The next up for the Padres. There's a swing and a miss. He's gotten into a really good oh, rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the play. baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Swing and a miss. And it's not again, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The Giants leading by four here in the last half of the third. That's off the mark. Yeah, the count one and two. It's a good take. The next pitch misses. Ball two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And no throw. He's into first easily. Protecting with strikes on him. 
And putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. It's Xander Bogarts now. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. That one hit to right. Oh. Soler snags it. That's out number two. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Ha Sung Kim. Ha Sung Kim. The next up for the Padres. 0 for 1. He struck they? out swinging two, last two time. <laughs> Jelly over to first. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. The other way. Yes, 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 yes. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break. But look at the bright side. Oh, really good down. contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. Now Machado up here. First pitch swinging. Oh, one's the count. And the righty deals. I got one ball, one In the dirt, nice job behind the plate. So, third home run. And Manny gets a piece. Azokar at third. Kim at second with two gone. Swing and a miss struck him out. Padres leave a pair. They trail it here for nothing. Here in San Francisco, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Matt Chapman. Musgrove back to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Yep. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off the tee. Now it's Tom Murphy. Pitch misses. 1-0. and All oh. well, these Giants doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and... They've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. And here it comes. And strike two. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch misses inside. Two and two. Hit in the air. Center field. Azokar drifts towards it. Azokar squeezes it. The batter, the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. So, a man aboard, digging in, Nick Ahmed, grounded out his first time. Ball one, no strike. 
in the dirt. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Really good read by the runner there. His secondary lead, he anticipates the trajectory going down and gets a really nice jump up to second base. Now he's in scoring position. He's taken away the double play opportunity. The 1-0. And ball another two. ball. <laughs> two balls, no strike. And yeah. that's through there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Outside low. And now three and one. Right through there for a strike. Shikara de Ose. Cuban Barrel. Man at second. Base knock right field. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. So up next, Tyro Estrada. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runners at the corners, one away. Top half of inning number four. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. Close, but call the ball. And it's two and one. Riding to the plate. Swing and a base uh, hit. Yeah. In comes the runner from third. It's 5 nothing. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pitch was away and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Austin Slater, the next giant to hit. One for two. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Traffic on the bases with one already in here in the finale of this four-game set. And a ground ball to first. That's a base hit. Run scores. That's now three yeah. hits in a row for the offense. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. It's a one out with two aboard. And up next for the Giants, Wilmer Flores. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Strike two. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches no down in our two hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Three got him. Balls. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Well, he locked him up with the cutter on the outside right there. And I got to think he was looking middle in because he just couldn't pull the trigger. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. That time it cut to the outside part of the plate and he just couldn't pull the trigger. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it.
He circles the bases and they add on. It's 9 nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Two outs, nobody on. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. <laughs> Way inside, gets out of the way. Wind to the pitch. And now two and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This to third. Throws the first in time. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye bye, baby. It's now 9 nothing. It's Major League you Baseball the on the show. Bye bye baby. Bottom of the fourth, Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give a one more thing for that pitcher to think about. You know, these Padres, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Flores makes the catch. And there's one away. Catcher, Luis Campusano. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. He's 0 for 1. Then Correa. Breaking inside, ball inside, ball and that is ball one. The Giants up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swings through that. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. There's a swing and a drive. Hit the extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay throw. Also. The tag, and he's out trying for three. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and the guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third, and you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Fouled off left side. pitch swings through the fastball up in the zone this guy's pounding the zone hitters don't have time to think in between pitches that one missing inside oh two count you got the opportunity to expand the zone could get the chase there let's see what he comes back with next next pitch is outside Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Nothing doing there for the Friars. And they're down 9 0.
We go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. The pitch. That That's one missed. All well, these Giants, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Eight of their hits came off the bat at 90 miles per hour or harder. These batters are not getting fooled right now. Coming on Profar, he's there. He's got it. One down. Yeah, Profar. Now, now Matt Chapman the at the plate. Matt Chapman. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Not even close there. And now it's even one and one. And that's outside. And a swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Oh. Swing and a Ripple miss. This stop. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Tom Murphy, oh, the next giant to hit. Tom Murphy. This is outside, and it's one to know. And a swing and a miss. One and one. Cinco. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Now that's the Nick Ahmed here to hit. Just a little bit of Right through there for a strike. That's in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. That was absolutely belted. Belted. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Oh, the throw is wild. Round second, taken for third. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. And up next for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. Nope. And the slider just misses. Ball one, no strike. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. <laughs> Ahmed on third with two out. Fly ball down the line. Tatis really on his horse for it. Pulls it in on the run. And that'll do it. But they push across one run, two hits, an error, and one left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants 10 and the Padres nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Profar climbs in on that left side. The wind of the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. 
Right. Late that time, and it's strike two. Kind of just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Way upstairs, two and two. The punch out there, and that's the first out. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. Marcano, the next to hit, takes outside. The Padres with a lot of ground to make up. Last half of inning number five. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Late swing, foul to the left. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And the pitch. That Whoa. misses the zone, and the count is even two and two. That one ran inside, almost got him. In the air, center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batting, center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jose Azokar. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swings hey. through that one. 0 oh and 1. Oh and one. They say you win. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And the right hater deals. That one just misses. Going to count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's a little bit high. Sometimes you have to fight to get back into an at bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Padres go down quietly. They're down 10 0. Pitcher, go tight. Back here at Oracle Park. All set for the top of the sixth. And digging in for San Francisco, Austin Slater. A new pitcher in the game, Steven Kolick. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same Florida stats, obviously, regardless of the score. The pitch. And a good eye there. Kolick goes six feet, three inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, it's a little concerning when a fastball gets away like that. No run or break to worry about, and it still hit him. Wilmer Flores, the next giant to hit. He's already homer here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Pick off throw, and he's back in easily. Slater aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air, right field. Tatis drifts towards it, nabs it, and there's one away. Right fielder number two, Jorge Soler. Here's a big power threat. Jorge Soler, one for three. That's in there. Yes, it's 0 and 1. First pitch changeup, he gets a called strike. You got to really know who that hitter is at the plate in order to throw that pitch again and again. 
Righty delivers. And one that's in the dirt. Man at first, one away. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Makes the grab for the second out. The center field, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Man at first, Mike Yastrzemski up here. And yeah, there's a ball. The Giants up big in this one. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a ball popped up under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. No runs on no hits, no errors, and a yeah. run left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Giants 10, and the Padres nothing. And we're back. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. The second baseman, Xander Bogarts. And the right hater back to work. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. And that's in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Fights it off, you'll see another. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, no not batter, walking batter. opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Kim at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Swings through that one for strike two. No ball, two strikes. The ball shortstop one. takes a ball. Ah. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Here's Manny Machado. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Wouldn't That's chase that two. time. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. And that one in the air center field. Yastrzemski makes the catch inning over. Magure home run ga. Dehen na. De. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the DH, Lamont Wade Jr.
Johnny Brito on to pitch here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Ball one there. Left hand hitter waits. That one the other way, and that's, nope, that's just foul. foul. Rip to third. Throw over to Cronenworth, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now that the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Just missed. Fastball for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The 1-1. One -one. That Two one missed. <laughs> And another ball. Base is empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. Chapman gets a piece there. The other way. Makes the grab, two down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. Tom Murphy, the next to hit. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. Here in the finale of this four-game set. That one close, ruled a ball. Must yeah, that's ball two. And yeah, that's too high. There's a strike. in a fastball at 95. Thank you. Slice to right. Fair ball. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Oh, he really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Count one and oh. In the dirt. Yes. And he's out. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Seventh, and now Fernando Tatis Jr. The wine of the pitch. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing oh, here. This down. lineup's inability to lock on to the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. And the one Makes the sliding stop. Oh, the throw, nicely yeah. done for the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. 
swing and a miss, strike one. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Lifted in the air, right field. Soler settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down. The first baseman, number nine. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One ball, one strike. Pitch is in there. One and two. The Padres with a lot of ground to make up here at the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Padres down in order. Not looking good. They're down 10 nothing. here in San Francisco. We're at the top of the eighth. There's the shortstop at the play. Nick Ahmed. of the bullpen for the Padres Tom Cosgrove and with the big now, deficit on the scoreboard he almost has to just put that out of his mind every outing matters for relievers in their numbers but I think it's tough yeah, to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game and the pitch lifted to left center way back there yeah. and that is gone That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 11-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So the batting order turns over. And the batter now, Tyro Estrada. Lifted in the air, out to left. Profar has a beat on it. He's got it. And there's one down. Mm. And up next for the Giants, Austin Slater. Oh, Just missed. Place. Chopped left side. Machado sends it across the first. And there's two away. So two down now. And here is Wilmer Flores. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a foul straight back. That one the other way. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
back here at Oracle Park. Now it's going to be Jerickson Profar. And he deals. And a strike in there. Jelly. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And a swing and a miss there. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Next pitch is outside. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little Yo, gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. And next is the designated hitter, Tucapita Marcano. But the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now back, center fielder, Jose Azokar. Man at first, next for the Padres, Jose Azokar. Pitch in for a strike, and it's 0-1. And, Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh, oh. Going to now. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throws to second. Profar is out. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. Seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. And here is Xander Bogarts. Bounce to the left side. Sends it to Flores. Third out, and that ends the frame. Padres leave one. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. And we're back. Leading off, Jorge Soler. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Angel De Los Santos. And a pitch. Right down the chute, going along. De Los Santos, a 6'3 righty, 235 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. That one lifted to left. Profar under it. And there's one down. So up next, Mike Yastrzemski. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. 
Got the back going too soon at strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. One gone runner at first. Next will be the Giants' DH, Lamont Wade Jr. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Quick feed to second for one. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Luke Jackson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now the shortstop, Hassan Kim. Not shortstop. And here it comes. Swings through that one for strike one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swing and a miss. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. The 0 2. Stays alive. He needs to throw that breaking ball with just a little more conviction to get the swing and miss. And the righty deals. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him off on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Now only one out remaining. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mid, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. On the run, sends it over to first, and that'll do it. Well, this is the perfect way to finish up a road trip, a sweep in this series before heading back home. This is a team that's got things rolling, and when you get it rolling on the road, you want to make sure when you go back home, you keep it rolling. 11 nothing, your final score, and the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, let's, let's thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious.